Hello, this video is a quick overview of the new OpenWire Editor available from Metov Software. The OpenWire Editor allows you to build OpenWire platform applications using simple drag and drop functionality to connect a wiring diagram. I'll show you what this means in just a moment. But first I should explain that um, the application that I'm using to capture the video that you're now watching is what we're going to build during this demonstration. You can see the video capture application here. It has a small uh, form rendering uh, the area that we're capturing from the screen. It has an LED to indicate that the capturing is on. And it has a, uh, a volume LED to indicate volume level. And I'm going to move this off to the side. Uh, basically, just kind of remember what that looks like. And we're going to build it right now in Embarcadero Rad Studio XE. By the way, all of the functionality I'm going to demonstrate here works with XE2 and FireMonkey as well, but we're doing a BCL demonstration. To save time, I've dropped a number of Metov uh, components, uh, open wire platform components on this form to meet the requirements of this application. There's a screen capture component from VideoLab, an audio input component from VideoLab, and the data streams from the audio input and the screen capture are going to be fed into this direct, direct show video logger component to save to file. In addition, the audio data stream is going to be fed into this volume meter, and the volume level is going to be displayed in this LED. Now, how do we move the data from one component to the other? Uh, just as we set uh, various properties for these components, for instance, we could go to this logger and set the compression codec. The, uh, here it's set to an XVID MPEG-4 codec so that we produce an MP4 file. We can set pin connections so that data flows from one component to another. If you're fam familiar with Metov OpenWire platform components, each component has an input pin, one or more input pins, and one or more output pins to which data can flow in and out. For instance, if I click on the video logger, it has an input pin, and I can get the video stream from the screen capture component, like so. I'm going to delete that because we're not going to use that method of connecting pins. The purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to use the open wire editor to do that. There are two ways to get to the open wire editor. I can come down here and click on the open wire tab which shows you an editor with shapes representing each OpenWire platform component. Or I can go up here to the OpenWire tool, toolbar and click on the OpenWire icon. And that either one of those techniques gets us to the OpenWire editor. Now to show you how to use this, I'm just going to go ahead and connect components. We know that we want the screen captures video output so I'll click on that output pin, and then release, and then drag my mouse. We know we want that connected to the video logger's input pin. Notice how when I click on an output pin, excuse me, when I hover over an output pin, all the compatible pins are highlighted. For instance, the image display input pin is highlighted there. So now we've connected screen capture to the video logger and to the image display so we can see what we're capturing and we can log it to file. Also the audio output needs to be connected to the logger. Notice when I hover over the audio output pin, audio compatible pins are highlighted. So we'll connect that to the audio input pin of the Direct Show video logger. Also we want to connect the audio stream to the volume meter. And lastly, we want to connect the volume meter, which is a level value, not a data stream, to the level LED to indicate the volume level. Now that basically is all we need to do to have data flow from one component to, the another, to another as this application runs. Now, what about turning the application on and off? Now, if we go back to the co code view, actually, we haven't looked at that yet, but 
I've written a small bit of code here such that when you click the Start button, the audio input component is turned on. Enabled becomes true. And when you click the Stop button, the audio input enabled becomes false. So that's, that's the only code uh, other than changing button states to reflect the state of the application. So if we're only turning on audio input, how do the other components get turned on? The way that happens is using state dispatchers. And the best way to explain the state dispatcher is to just show you. The audio input, excuse me, the audio in component has an enabled state pin and it's a state source pin. And when I highlight, or when I hover over that pin, compatible state sync pins are highlighted. So I'm going to connect that to something I know I want turned on when audio in is turned on, which is screen capture. And I also want to turn on the logger. And I also want to turn on the LED to indicate that capturing is occurring. And finally, I want to turn on the level LED so that the volume level is recorded. And notice that all of these state pins are sort of grounded in the same state dispatcher. The state dis dispatcher component was created as needed when you connect more than one state pin. OK, so basically, now that those state pins are connected whenever audio in is turned on. Uh, as we demonstrated with the code, the button handling code that turns audio input on, whenever audio in is on, all of these other components will turn on as well and capture audio and video stream to file. And that's basically it for the pin connections. You can see that that was much easier than if we had had to go, go through each component in the form designer, find its input or output pin, pull up the pin connector and select which pin we want to connect to. Uh, the OpenWire editor gives you a much better view. In addition, the OpenWire editor can edit some component properties. For instance, we could change the file name of the video logger in this view simply by clicking on the down arrow and picking file name. We could also pick a video compressor and edit that. Again, it's the XVID compressor. And so on, each one of these components may have components that you can edit through this view. In addition, we can right click on the white space and click Arrange Filters to auto arrange uh, components on the screen. And we can tweak that as needed manually. Um, instead of right clicking on the screen, we can use the open wire toolbar up here. There's a button for uh, auto arrange. There is a button to show or hide the grid. And there's a toolbar button to show or hide the rulers. And finally, there's the open wire editor button to toggle back to this view if we need to. Let's go back to the designer. That pretty much concludes the demonstration of how to build this application. We showed you how to use the OpenWire Editor to connect pins and get the big picture view of how your, operation, how your application is operating. And now we're ready to build. But instead of building, we'll just simply drag back the one that I've already built that is capturing the video again that you're now watching for this demonstration. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, be sure to download the OpenWire Editor from metov.com. Explore its uh, capabilities, and I'm sure you'll be impressed. Um, thank you for watching.